From being the greatest of all time to being dragged in the mud in a recent flagrant podcast, it seems LeBron James is in trouble for using PEDs. But is it true? For years, the man's extraordinary longevity has enabled him to achieve great things. He even surpassed Kareem Abdul-Jabbar's prior mark for career points scored, for crying out loud. And ever since then, the man has been crowned a legend. Some people believe the four-time NBA winner is the best basketball talent to ever play the game. Whether James or Michael Jordan is the GOAT is a topic of frequent discussion. But perhaps it's time the scale has been tipped towards Jordan for good this time. All because of one little tox screen. Funny how the mighty fall, isn't it? LeBron is using PEDs, and they unquestionably change things. According to former UFC fighter Chael Sonnen, who has confessed to cheating by using them previously, things are never going to be the same again. But that's not where it gets interesting. For those of you who don't recall Chael, let's refresh your memory for a bit. In addition to being a former mixed martial artist, Chael Sonnen is one of the sport's most charismatic promoters of wrestling. When Sonnen first started competing in mixed martial arts in 1997, he rapidly made a name for himself in the Ultimate Fighting Championship. That's where he rose to the top of both the light heavyweight and middleweight categories. Soon, Sonnen became one of the most adored characters in the sport thanks to his razor-sharp one-liners and unmatched trash-talking skills. The man was gold. On top of that, his remarkable fighting technique and outgoing demeanor solidified his status as one of the greatest fighters, one to have ever won a big world championship, despite the fact that he never did. At UFC 117, Chael Sonnen's dramatic struggle with Anderson Silva came to a close when the champion submitted the American fighter in the fifth round. But the man was also in a similar situation like our guy LeBron James here. Soon, it was subsequently discovered that Sonnen had failed a post-fight substance test because of an abnormal testosterone to epitestosterone ratio. Told you it gets interesting. Anyway, the PED test led to a trial all the way back in December 2010, and the American gangster was successful in having the one-year suspension lowered to six months. Still, Sonnen's reputation was damaged by the incident, and now this guy here seems to have a lot of opinions on LeBron James' current predicament. It doesn't end here either. The former UFC champion made some serious allegations against LeBron James on the Flagrant 2 show hosted by Andrew Schultz. Sonnen even claimed that the two of them have the same PED guy. Now, that's some next-level bonding, don't you think? It is a grave accusation to imply that the Lakers icon truly uses PEDs, and the man knows what he's doing when making those statements as well. According to him, the actions of LeBron will be heard by other basketball stars, who will respond in a very nonchalant manner. They may really just not care at all. To the former MMA fighter, they'd probably be like, it doesn't even matter. But he doesn't really agree with that. Sonnen, someone who's been there and done that, said in a recent flagrant podcast session that if you understood what these performance enhancers did, you'd know that it mattered. Since he claims to have the same PED dealer, he also states that he's fully aware of his activities, or so he alleges. According to Chael, EPO matters, and LeBron took it for a purpose. It is crucial. Your red blood cells expand thanks to EPO, giving you the stamina to play the entire game. So, in a way, it is an insane version of an energy booster. Everything is ruled by EPO at the end of the day. There's a reason why bikers do it. And the man might just know what he's talking about, as he's obviously well-versed in the use of performance-enhancing medications. Since he had previously confessed to using EPO, and human growth hormone as well. But it's also nothing unheard of. I don't know if you've noticed, 
but the use of PEDs has sprung up everywhere lately. The NBA does randomly sample athletes' blood to look for PED use. The program subjects each player to no more than nine random, unannounced PED tests during each season and offseason. That can crack up to six urine tests and three blood tests, according to the NBA and NBPA statement about their joint anti-PED program. As Bill Simmons pointed out 10 years ago, that it wasn't always like that. According to Simmons 2013 article, NBA players get tested up to four times throughout the course of a season. The fourth occasion can occur at any moment between October and June, but once it does, it won't happen again. So if your fourth exam comes after your 71st game, you're good to go for the remainder. Within NBA circles, there is an ongoing jest that serves as a sort of get-out-of-jail-free card. Once you urinate in that fourth cup, you're good to go. So, yeah, there are a lot of ways to work around the whole thing. But it seems our boy James got stuck with a string of bad luck or a bad cup. Now, given the increased PED testing and LeBron's declining stamina, it is unquestionably much more difficult to think James is using PEDs now than it was then. The NBA prohibits the use of PEDs of any kind during the competition, but their feeble PEDs policy has drawn criticism for years. All facts that James was clearly aware of from the get-go. So what does the situation with Chael and the PED use mean now? In case you didn't know, Chael Sonnen spread a LeBron James rumor earlier as well, but it did not receive as much attention back then. Apparently, the former UFC champion didn't mean to charge LeBron with any wrongdoing. All he wants is for the stigma to disappear. Although, his endgame isn't exactly clear at this point. But his statement doesn't exactly play into the basketball player's favor as well. To be clear, I in no way support Chael Sonnen's assertion that LeBron James uses PEDs. Hormone replacement therapy has become one of the most popular treatments among sportsmen in recent years. This isn't like the old school steroids, which weren't supported by any medical research and were hazardous. HRT has many advantages for those who are past their peak. If I were to play the devil's advocate, that is how it would play out. This treatment is beneficial for any elite player who is well into his 30s. Although Sonnen only intended to make it appear more regular, his assertions could still prove to be false. The fact is that many athletes use PEDs, but there is a shame attached to it that will be difficult to overcome. That's a major drawback and one of the greatest problems with their use. Something that James will probably have to experience now. Unless, of course, it's somehow proven otherwise. Every time a famous person is questioned about this, they frequently shift the topic of the discussion. Few people in the world, including LeBron James and other warriors like him, are able to keep a physique like that without using HRT. And for someone who has to live up to a certain standard, you can understand why he'd do what he did. Genetic wonders or anomalies of nature are typically the ones that maintain that level of fitness and muscle without PEDs. One of the lucky sportsmen with that kind of freak genetics is undoubtedly LeBron James. Or is he? That's a wrap on the LeBron James PED scandal.